This is Michael Oral, Editor-in-Chief of MobileBurn.com and AndroidAuthority.com. Today I'm going to give you a look at my favorite app for the Android platform. It's the Touchdown Exchange Client from NitroDesk.com. This is the Touchdown Home screen. It gives you a quick look at your unread email messages, your appointments and tasks, as well as quick access to the main features of the phone. We're going to start off with the email section of the phone. And right now we're in a particular folder. Um, this is um, one of my Samsung folders, and we're going to just going to hit this message here so I can pull it up. You can see it works in landscape mode as well. Suits the uh, format of the video camera a little bit better. HTML support. You can see, you know, superscripts here, bolded text, centered, everything like that. Up here in the header of the message, you can see that there's support for attachments. Uh, you can also see that there's inline image support as well. I tap on the paperclip there. We can see the bunch of images and the Word doc. All you have to do is tap on it to start the download process. And now it's been downloaded. Some shortcut keys down here at the bottom. I'm going to press this one here which will mark the messages unread. And that way when I drop back I can show you some of the filtering options. If I hit this little funnel button up here I can select some of the filtering options here and I'm going to mark unread, and this will make it show only unread messages. If I tap here in the header, it allows me to select a folder to access. I'm going to switch over to the inbox. I'm going to show you one of my favorite features is the fact that you can show all folders at once. So now all new messages, regardless of what folder they're coming from, are showing up in one inbox, which um, for somebody like me, it makes heavy use of folders in exchange. This is a real godsend. Check boxes here on any of the um, inbox views. And so you can select multiple messages and then do something to them. Like I'll pull up the menu here, go into the deeper menu and have them marked as unread. And now those messages show up as new. I can just as easily mark them individually or multiple just by uh, long pressing on one and say mark it as read or those two that are selected and mark as read. One of the new features in this Android 2.0 specific version of Touchdown is the ability to use the text-to-speech function. So what we just did there is I long pressed on a message to bring up the context sensitive menu and we just press on speak. Message from Mobile Burn, test of the new Touchdown Exchange client. This is a test of the new Android 2.0 version of Touchdown Exchange Client by Nitrodesk. You can see it works pretty well. Of course, what good is a talking phone if you can't talk back to it? Hi, my name is Michael. This is a test message. Another cool feature you're going to find in Touchdown that you won't find in other Exchange Clients is support for folders in contacts and calendars. Right now we're showing one of um, a subfolder, a test subfolder of my contacts system. I'm going to show you how we can switch to a different folder by going into the filters menu. There's my general list of contacts and here's some that I imported from one of our test accounts for Gmail. You can see it brings up an entirely different list. And just as it works with the email system, I can always pick um, show all folders, but in this case, since I don't want to show you everybody's personal messages, I'm going to instead show you how the categories work. And we're going to select the category start in Android. When I hit apply, you'll notice that the list has been reduced to just the starred Android contacts. Another cool feature in Touchdown that works in both email and contacts is the ability to just start typing. Um, to get matches. Um, for example, if I hit G, you see my contact list automatically gets narrowed down to those that start with uh, the letter G. Hit GO and it shows Gollum. Hit GR and we get Peter Griffin. I can also, of course, search on first name and just type PET for Peter and it also matches up. Another important new feature in this Android 2.0 build of Touchdown is the ability to integrate directly into the phone's contact system. You can see it shows up as a source for contacts just like Gmail or Facebook or any other source would. This means you know you don't have to have a separate list of contacts in Touchdown versus the contact application or on your phone. Here's a quick look at the calendar application in Touchdown. 
You can see this is the agenda view, and a couple of these appointments, like this test calendar appointment and these two here, actually come from a calendar subfolder. So you can see it supports multiple folders for calendar appointments. You can pull up this uh, appointment here just so you can see what it looks like. Again, if there's an address in there, you can map it, you know, you can add multiple people to it, that kind of stuff, notes as well. Multiple calendar views, so day view, week view, and of course month view, and you can use finger swipes to move from month to month or week to week. Tasks are also fully supported inside Touchdown, and it also has the same kind of filtering system that we see in the other parts of the phone. So you can say what type of tasks you want to see. I'm going to only show pending. Which folders? I only have um, the tasks folder here, so all folders is the same. And you can select categories as well. Touchdown comes with an incredible assortment of settings. You can see I have push set up right now and you can change how many days you want it to pull down messages and appointments and things like that. Signatures, um, all sorts of notifications. Um, you can turn off calendar appointments uh, reminders if you like. Uh, tell it not to delete messages or mark red messages you read on the phone um, so not to update the server. Change font sizes, download size, and of course you can select all the different folders you want to support. Email alerts, custom email alerts, so you can configure the way the lights go, um, nagging, so it won't go away and stop alerting you until you uh, acknowledge it, vibrations, custom sounds, all sorts of good stuff like that. Of course, you can set peak times for um, you know, push, there's out of office messages, you can even back up your settings, so as, um, if you screw something up, you can quickly restore them and uh, get right back to where you used to be. There's a free trial of Touchdown uh, available in the Android market. A full license key costs only $10 at this point. Um, some of the features I've been showing you are just in the beta release, uh, this, the Android 2.0 specific things for the Motorola Droid, for example, um, the speech to text and things like that. But um, the real release of the application should be out in the next week or two, so you'll be seeing all this stuff in the um, free trial that you can get from the Android market. So once again, that's the Touchdown Exchange client by Nitrodesk.com. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com and AndroidAuthority.com.